Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and this video is going to go over something that I absolutely love, which is color. Okay, so before we get started um, with a lecture, I think it's important to get going uh, with a little bit of vocabulary. Um, so here are your, your standard three, so here are your primary colors. So if you don't know what those are, definitely go look them up because, you know, that's required. <laughs> uh, required vocabulary. Um, when you take your, your uh, primary colors, mix them together, then you end up getting secondary colors. Okay, and then before you know it, you've got the rainbow. Okay, so I think it's, it's critical to try to look for different types of combinations that are intuitive to you, they, they end up looking good. Um, and it's also important to note that um, there's no one right way or wrong way to, to look at color. Uh, you know, you just, it's almost like a lifelong pursuit where you just gotta figure out what are good color interactions and, you know, what kind of matches the style that you're looking for and what, what it is you're trying to do. You could literally spend a lifetime trying to work on color and you won't master it. Okay, so anyways, you can start to see we have a little bit of a rainbow that's happening. Um, and one of the things I wanna talk about, so if you think about this, this is just pure color, okay? You could see that in Photoshop, I'm pretty much working in this area of the triangle and I'm just going around the actual color wheel. So, Think about that when you're trying to design your characters. Now, there's a couple of other things I'd like to share when you're taking this beginner's approach to working with color. Now, um, if you press the letter I in Photoshop, it allows you to color sample, and you can, you can see over here on the right side um, what's happening. So anyways, what I would recommend is go to any one specific color in the circle, and then move it over here to the right in the triangle, and then press B so you can go back, and then you end up having um, a tint, or you have a lighter version of that color. Move it farther downwards in the triangle, and then you have a darker version, okay? Um, it's just like, a, it's a good way to go and explore because you have millions of combinations of, you know, different types of interactions with colors and types of colors that you can get. So just be aware of that. Um, okay, let's just do this one more time. So what you wanna do is again, um, you know, press the letter I, go back to the color that you want, then go and adjust that color by adding in white paint or adding in black paint. So you can either add lightness or darkness. Um, okay. And as you're seeing, as you can see, we're starting to get a very complex array of different colors. And I could do that for every single one of these. And, you know, there's an infinite number of variations, you know, between, you know, this color right here and this color right here. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like infinity. So, you know, just don't, don't think um, that it's gonna be absolutely perfect. Um, so now one last thing to kind of talk about, especially when you're thinking about character designs and stuff like that. Um, a good idea when working with color is um, to, to know the relationships. So these guys are on the opposite side of the wheel, so they're called complementary colors. So are these right here. And you can know, you notice the blue and the orange are complementary colors as well. Um, so that's, that's a fun way to go and get interactions to happen. So I can kind of go here, press I to get that orange, go back to I, get the blue. And remember, I'm using my keywords, uh, or I'm using my shortcuts, the letter B and I. Um, so that way I can go and get, um, I can quickly jump between different tools. Okay, so notice that I'm getting these different types of interactions and there's a strong amount of contrast that happens. So, and this is called a complementary layout or a complementary color, um, you know, relationship. Uh, but what's really exciting is, is that um, you don't have to just use these bright saturated colors. You know, one technique that's really good for a lot of beginning artists, especially if, as you're trying to figure out what color relationships look, work really well with each other, is to draw a triangle in this, in this, um, you know, this color wheel. So maybe you want to start with something that's red and maybe go for like a yellow orange and maybe like a very light primary blue. And then boom, you've got a split complementary palette. 
um, you know, and you can you can pretty much use any one of these here. Let me do one last one. Let's just kind of do something like this. So again, we have a split complementary palette, but then of course you can choose other combinations of splits as well. So we know that purple, uh, purple has a complementary color. So opposite to purple is gonna be yellow. So if you do the split from that opposite yellow color, you get something in the orange family and something in the green family, then you pretty much, you have some good combinations. So let's just kind of, let's go and create some kind of a color palette because like, what if you're making a character, and you're like, I don't know what colors to make it. Okay, make a quick color wheel and then um, press B for your brush. Okay, and then go and experiment and get different highlights of that purple that you like. Go and get different shadows of that purple. And then go back to your green, and that's your solid pure color. And then of course, um, again, just go back and lighten it with additional white. And go and darken it as well. And then before you know it, you have like a very strong collection of colors that you can use. And there's there's gonna be a harmonious look to it. Um, so here, let me do one last one and then we'll zoom in really close. So remember, these are my pure colors right here. And then from there, I'm going and lightening them and darkening them as well. Okay, there's my light colors. And then let's go and add some darkness to that orange. And just with three colors, so let's just zoom in really close. Just with those three colors, my goodness, you've got quite a, an interesting palette and you've got a lot of stuff going on here. And then, you know, every now and then you could just, uh, you could just take something random and drop that in and really make your, make your palette and your colors just pop. Okay. So give that a shot. Um, go back, try to see what these relationships are. See what happens when you take opposite colors in the color wheel and you put them together. See what happens when you go from one end of the color wheel to the other and then you kind of split and you go in a different direction. So go here and then split to there and split and go to there. So you have three really nice colors. All right guys, I know this is a big mess, but uh, good luck, give it a try. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.